I never knew that it was possible to live in such a such an effortless way and um, definitely wasn't what I had grown up thinking was needed in order to keep everything just uh, ticking along nicely you could say in life. I thought there was a certain standard normal baseline level of effort required in order to have the right thoughts and emotions, have people like me and just you know get this life thing down generally. And that was, I lived in that way, it was completely normal, totally unnoticed. I mean it's just what we do, right? <laughs> Think positively, um, hang out with people that make me feel positive, do things that I find easy <laughs> or that give me the, the right data streams, the right thoughts, emotions and experiences or uh, build up this, the correct uh, life display. And, and for the first 28 years of my life that's just how I, I rolled along with this um, unseen mode of effort, you could say just to sort of be okay in the world and uh, keeping away as much negative thoughts and emotions as I could and cultivating as many positive as I could. And then um, in 2008 I walked into an open meeting, Balance View open meeting, not dissimilar <coughs> to this one, and received an introduction to open intelligence to the nature of my mind, to something about myself that is completely stable, clear, open, empowered in every moment, regardless of what I'm thinking and feeling, regardless of whether I'm thinking or feeling positive things or any situation I might be in, anything I'm perceiving that the nature of my mind, open intelligence, is clear, stable, open, available. I'd never been introduced before and I found something that I could rely on in every moment. That was a revelation. <laughs> so the the practice that we're introduced to that Carl also mentioned, short moments, short moments of simply recognizing open intelligence, recognizing what's at the basis of all experience moment by moment, recognizing the nature of mind, the openness of your mind, simultaneous to whatever is arising, not needing to change the data stream, not needing to change the thought or emotion, this is amazing. <laughs> start to see what the true nature, the true essence of every thought and emotion is, whether we label it as positive or negative. Open intelligence is constant throughout. This is amazing. <laughs> We're getting to know something about ourselves that is all pervasive, true, constant, reliable. And we, we check this out in short moments. We check out in short moments it can be short moments of completely relaxing mind and body. <coughs> short moments of acknowledging open intelligence. Short moments of allowing the current data stream, whatever it might be, just to be as it is. The greatest idea in the world, the worst idea in the world. Allowing it to be as it is. Allowing it to arise and resolve. Flower and resolve naturally, leaving no trace. It's what it's doing anyway. It's so effortless. We can't hold on to the greatest ideas in the world. I've had so many. I mean, I have so many all the time. <laughs> I'm in both directions, the greatest and the worst. And, um, and, and it's, so, it's so amazing to allow, do you know, allow our mind just to be as it is. Allow it to, to run naturally. Because what I see, this effort that I was putting in throughout my whole life was constricting my mind. Constricting and trying to get it to look a certain way. You know, design a mind. <laughs> I mean, it's so boring, <laughs> firstly so boring and so much effort, but until I was introduced to another way of using my mind, that's what I thought was normal. I had no other choice, because the fear of feeling negative and the wish to feel positive, 
this this other mind training that I trained myself into was so strong and ingrained that I thought there was nothing else that I could do. Because to allow myself to feel negative, well, that's huge failure. No? I mean, who wants to do that? <laughs> and but through through training up, through through testing short moments and seeing <coughs> in the moment of feeling negative any thought or emotion, I could allow it to be as it is and it was inseparable from open intelligence. It's the dynamic energy of my intelligence. I could allow it to arise and resolve naturally, leaving no trace like the flight path of a bird in the sky or a line drawn in water. Whether the thought or experience is positive or negative, it has the same nature and the same activity, <coughs> you could say. Equally arising. Equally resolving. And, and in that, in testing short moments and discovering that there was a new availability to life. So I did complete the 12 empowerments that year in 2008. I participated and I have to say I entered this training and it was, it was, I mean I had already had an introduction and then I went to the 12 empowerments. I really didn't understand much of the 12 empowerments <laughs> when I was in it. I was just like, <coughs> you know, taking each empowerment as it came. But what was amazing to see is that I didn't need to understand. I didn't need to understand. I could just show up, like I shared in the video. Like, it's always the invitation, just showing up. And you could say the training does its work. Open intelligence becomes more and more obvious without effort. This is amazing. It's the end of effort. The end of effort. Hooray! <laughs> we can actually retire. We can retire from this arduous effort of trying to control these crazy minds because all is well. All is well. And we check it out right now in this short moment of recognizing open intelligence. This is your moment. <laughs> right now to seize the recognition, to empower the recognition of the true nature of your mind. And seeing that these, you know, I sort of my, the thoughts and emotions that I'd just taken to be so true about myself and so limiting, resolving like mist in the air, moment by moment. Show that to yourself. See that. It's a very powerful recognition. So otherwise, it can be, I could see for myself a lifetime ahead of me of spent believing in every thought and emotion, taking it to mean something about me, something about the world, what I'm capable of, what's possible, living from this small space. And instead, in a short moment, one short moment of recognizing open intelligence, everything's vast, open, clear, free powerful, beneficial. This is you. <laughs> and it, it comes about through showing up in complete relaxation, complete relaxation, making no effort to change the, this current thought or emotion, just allowing it to be as it is, whatever it might be that we have. So. Amazing to be in, I mean, that for me, being in, wow, I remember being in discussions, <laughs> conversation, and just always wanting to be right. Like, that I just always wanted to be right. So I'd, I'd be there with my intellectual arguments, sort of lining them up. Someone else would be talking, and I'd be like, da, 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 okay, right, ready, I'm going to, right, ready, release, release argument number two. Because, <laughs> or, or if I didn't know something, I'd, I'd sort of desperately be like, you know, searching around to sort of find some sort of shred of evidence that you know something. You know, you once watched National Geographic in like five, five years ago, and then it was like something about whales, and then you, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's just constant, constant efforting to sort of seem like I'm this together person with like the right presentation for the world. And like, I mean, it's 
actually quite shocking to see the difference now. Because <laughs> I was just like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I could not give to. Oh, but it's like, I, but what's innate is resting, resting deeply is the complete availability to, to communicate fully, to commu communicate truly and listen, like listen with a wide open heart and mind to what people are truly saying. <laughs> so you're having a conversation about whales and you hear completely to the heart of the matter. Like, uh, and you can have chit chat about whales too. <laughs> But it's, it's the difference from needing to, to uphold and present some idea of myself and be right and be knowledgeable. It's such a relief to allow all that just to be as it is. <coughs> such a relief, nothing to defend, nothing to protect, complete availability, human relating, truly human relating. Um, like not this pretense of trying to be someone when <laughs> here we are wide open, open intelligence fully in relationship in every moment, totally loving relationship with everyone. Nothing to contrive, nothing to contrive at all, just complete relaxation as we are. It's so beautiful. And coming here, coming and hanging, when I, I started coming to the open meetings and spending time with, with the community of Balanced View, it was something really incredible for me. It was really incredible. It was, like, it was part of the showing up because I started to see changes come about very quickly and I saw the example of other people and it, it shifted things in me like a loving openness that was so obvious that I wanted to to know more of in myself like permission to just be as I am it was really really revolutionary for me not needing to present this sort of like all-knowing really cool Lizzie <laughs> to the world and just be me. Like, I didn't even know what that really was. <laughs> and it's so moving because I, I was just loved into complete openness. Just be as you are, reminded again, be as you are. And it's thrilling. It's thrilling for the world, not just for each of us individually. Because this, this naturalness has great power, great power to move through life, to relate lovingly and openly with no pretense and no guard. And I see it every day. I see it every day. I see it in others relying on open intelligence and training this up, and I see it in myself, and I see the impact it has on other people. When you show up in great openness, there's, there's nothing but great openness. <laughs> when, you, when you see the, the true nature of your data streams, like in the 12 empowerments, you know, you see many data, you list many data streams and you answer many questions. It's quite amazing. And, um, and, and you, you, you recognize their true nature as open intelligence. Then you can recognize open intelligence more and more in all of life with all people. Complete connection. Inseparability. Perfect love. Total power. <laughs> power to contribute freely your gifts and talents with no limit moment by moment however that looks spontaneous spontaneously contributing that's our gift as human beings not limited according to thinking the right things feeling the right things spontaneous benefit creators <laughs> that's what we are and we really get to know it through this training. That's the opportunity of the Balanced View training. Getting to know that that's our true nature. And ho however we're living, whatever our life looks like, there's the support available anywhere in the world, 24-7. And we can be supported to flourish completely in our power. <laughs>